I, I certainly share the sense of wonder, of amazement, of astonishment at natural phenomena, which tempts us to use the word miracle. A seed growing into a plant, a, um, <clears throat> a, a pregnant woman giving birth to a child uh, who grows up to be a person. These are truly wondrous, and I will sometimes, uh, in fact, use the language of a miracle. I'll say, it, it's a miracle. Now, I actually don't mean that it's a miracle. Uh, it is language that helps to convey my awe and wonder. But there is a big difference between literally believing that it's a miracle and using the language of miracles, namely, what happens when you actually have to affect it causally. So let's say you, uh, and, and I, I will speak to you, Sadhguru, you are, when it comes to turning seeds into edible food, um, we know that many civilizations, when there was a crop failure, when there was a drought, when there was uh, a famine, when locusts came and, and uh, ate, ate the grain, they would utter prayers, they would uh, sacrifice a goat, sometimes they would sacrifice a virgin, uh, they would pray for a miracle. Fortunately, you don't do that. You quite admirably have a foundation that literally gets your hands dirty. Uh, there's nothing miraculous about dirt. And you have my admiration for taking dirt seriously because the transformation of a seed into a stalk of uh, wheat is not a miracle. It depends on having the right dirt. And hats off to you for uh, taking dirt seriously. Likewise, if you have the miracle of a child and the child has a disease like leukemia, you could uh, pray to a saint, you could climb up the stairs of a cathedral on your knees, you could set up a shrine, you could, as we say, pray for a miracle. That would be, I would submit, an immoral thing to do, knowing that there are ways of uh, keeping that miracle of a child in existence by giving it the right uh, drug that would get rid of the leukemia or cure the infection. And so even treating a child as a miracle, even treating a plant as a miracle, metaphorically, poetically, when it actually comes to uh, action, to the need to do something to perpetuate this miracle, uh, it is very important not to take the miracle language literally, but rather to see it as a matter of cause and effect, to worry about uh, rainfall and soil and fertilizer and farming practices, to worry about the child's health, the appropriate drugs, the appropriate nutrition, the appropriate uh, loving environment. Now, when it comes to consciousness, this is true uh, e e even more uh, significantly. So, Bala, you're a professor of anesthesia, you're an anesthesiologist, so you manipulate people's consciousness. I assume not with prayers, with seances, with sacrifices, but you actually apply physical cause and effect. You inject chemicals in people's bloodstream, you put a mask over people's faces and they breathe certain gases. Um, you know, if I were a patient undergoing surgery and, and uh, ne needed general anesthesia, um, my consciousness would be turned off. I would very much like for it to stay off while I'm open on the operating table. I would very much like for it to come back when the operation is done. Uh, I sure hope you don't treat all of that as a miracle. <laughs> I sure hope you don't say prayers. I hope you don't make sacrifices. I hope you control the mixture of gases and the timing and, and 